Alright, so I wanted to make this video as a guide for those setting up a vanilla Minecraft Java server on Truna scale without port forwarding using player.gg, which is all free by the way. Since I've recently had some issues trying to set this up myself and I just want to help anyone else who may be having similar issues. Alright, so over here on the Truna's dashboard, you want to make sure that you have enough free RAM to install Minecraft because if you don't, you might actually run into some issues. So if we navigate to the apps tab and then we go through to Minecraft, I'll show you how my application sets up. So since I'm in the UK, Europe time zone, click this checkbox. I didn't do it the first time. I know it's stupid, but you got to check that for the EULA. Uh, Minecraft Java, that's default. That's fine. Vanilla, that's what I'm going for version latest you can change that to 1.18 or 1.21 to keep it on the same version without having it to update every single time survival you don't need to change any of this stuff you can change if you want archon that's remote connection i don't really bother with this stuff max players blah 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 default minecraft stuff spawn protection i put that as zero because i don't it's server with friends we piss about, you know. Um, online mode, obviously you want to check, click online mode. Um, operators, this is where I've given myself op, whitelist for my friends that are on my server. You can keep this as default. This is just where TrueNAS sets the group and users. Network configuration. So this is 25535 for me. You can keep it as anything. I think the default Minecraft one is 25565, but whatever works, it works, you know. As long as you keep a consistent port number, then it's fine. Host IPs, I keep it as the zeros IP address. I think this helps it work with player. But yeah, host IPs, I use all zeros. Uh, remote connection, blah, 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 port number. Storage configuration. So for storage, for me personally, I like creating the data set myself already. So I've just got host path into my Minecraft and it's in there. All right. So for when creating my data sets, I have two different storage drives, one for just my Minecraft and one for everything else. Um, in my Minecraft drive, I've made two apps data sets. So I go in, name them whatever I want, and I make them apps. And then that's how I've created my data set. So I've created server two and used worlds. Used worlds just for previous worlds that I want to have. Um, server two is the one that I use. And if you want to be able to access the files from outside of your server, you can then go into shares and then you can add and you can find the folder that you want to add into your SMB share, but then I'll ask you to restart the system, just press yes, and then you should be able to access it from any device connected to your network. And then here's my resource configuration for CPUs, and then I guess it's all default. If you have enough RAM, it should install just fine. I'd recommend just logging in with your local IP and the given port number just to make sure it works. And now on to setting up player. To set up player.gg, you first need to go to their website, click login, and create an account. Once you have logged into your new account, you need to set up a new agent. To do this, click the create new Docker based agent. It doesn't matter what you name it. And when you click create, it will generate some YAML code that you will need to copy and paste into TrueNAS. Once you get the YAML file, you need to go to discover apps, three dots install via yaml and then you can paste the yaml code into the custom config section here and then you click save so you can see my current one obviously i'm not going to show my secret key but you can see it's the exact same as what you would get all right so once you have an agent you'll see it's connected you want to make sure that it is i'm not going to show my ip address because this is my actual ip so you want to then create a tunnel into your actual server. So I've got my tunnel here, but for the sake of this video, I'll add a new tunnel. So what I do is use shared IP, 
Global Anycast free. Obviously, we want the free version. Don't want to pay any money. Uh, tunnel type. And then you want to go to Minecraft Java. And then you want to obviously have a enable tunnel check marked and you click add tunnel. Now inside your tunnel, it should look a little bit like this. I'm going to blur the stuff, of course, so you can't join my server. <laughs> um, update local address. You want to make sure that the local address here is your server's address and your local port is the local port that you did put into the Minecraft file in TrueNAS. So for the local address, you want to put your actual address on your TrueNAS server, which for me is 192.168.178.201. That's the address of my server. And that's what you can see in the local address. And the local port, you can see in my Minecraft configuration, I have set the network port as 25535. So once you've done all that, you can copy your link, go back into Minecraft, you can add a new server, call it whatever you want, and then the server address, you can copy and paste the server address, and then you're done. And this is my play it server. Also, I think this is just an anecdotal bit of evidence. Um, for me, my play at ping is like 134. That's still really good, albeit, but my local IP is three milliseconds of the ping. Um, it makes sense because this is obviously my local server and then this is play it. However, all of my friends that do connect to my server have like single to double digit ping. So for all of my friends, it's more similar to what I get for my local address. I don't know why it's just me that gets this, but I can honestly confirm that player is really good and really reliable. With all that done, you should have yourself a working Minecraft server that anyone you choose to join can join. This was a bit of a rough video. I'd recommend checking out Servers at Home's guide as he goes more in depth for setting up Play It. I'll have his video linked in the description somewhere or other. And I'd recommend doing a bit of research about Play It before committing since you might want to learn a little bit more about it. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.